What's going on, everybody? I'm Bodie Anthony. And I'm Max Bros. And this is the Bodes and Bros Podcast. Not only do we have a special guest here with us, Mario. What's up, yo? Thanks for joining us. But we also have some awesome things featured in today's podcast, like the NFL Combine, our 2024 NFL mock drafts, and today's sports news. Starting off with the NFL Combine, you guys already know that we got to start with the NFL record that was set by Xavier Worthy with a 4.21 40-yard dash. That, what do you guys think about that? That's crazy. I can't believe he beat the John Ross record. It's unbelievable. I... I knew Xavier, Xavier, I keep messing up on his name. Xavier Worthy was fast, but I didn't know he was that fast. I didn't know who he really was until the combine. I didn't know he really existed. I'm not really? even, yeah, I didn't know who he, um, I, I'm really sorry. I just didn't know the guy before that clip came out. Even though I must give props, that is insane. That is an insane time. Well, I can't I, believe you guys didn't know that, but, but yeah. Can't wait to see him in the NFL and see what he can do. Same here. And we'll talk about where he's going to go later, so stay tuned for that. How about Michael Penix Jr. having a great combine as well? Yeah, it was crazy. Scouts are saying he's a cold-weather guy. Um, I don't think... I think he's a bit overrated. I don't think Michael Penix Jr. is a first-rounder. I don't think he's overrated at all. I think he's a really elite QB, and his O-line just kind of gave up on him in the national championship. I think I think um, Michigan was just too good for... Um, Washington, because like yeah. Michigan has an elite defense and a good offense, but I can't wait to see them next year. Michigan might be, I don't think we're all going to get like top four this year. I think we might get number six, because we're playing some hard people this year. I think we will get in the playoffs, though. Yeah, for sure. I do, I do too. Oh, yeah, um, talking about the six, how much 16-team playoff in college next year? 12, it's 12. 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12. So, but still, I'm really excited for that next year. Um, I can't wait to see what that has to store. I that's, mean that's gonna be that's, awesome. That's like I'm really excited, actually. Honestly, I feel I feel like four teams does not give enough chances for the D one schools. Yeah, because so to add twelve teams just makes everybody get an opportunity to compete. Because if, even if you have three losses, you can still compete and get into that playoffs. All right, I, listen, I'm gonna be honest. I didn't want that change at first, but now like I'm pretty excited. And I think, same here. I think. Michigan, you know how Michigan won the national championship? They deserved deserved it last year with Jim Harbaugh, but Georgia, if Georgia was in the playoffs, I think they would have had a chance of winning it all. I agree. I mean, if if Georgia, because they're so dominant, right? If they were in the podcast, uh, <laughs> I mean, if they were in the playoffs, I think that that would have been pretty cool. Because think, they would have won it all. They would have beat Michigan. I think Michigan would have got short. I think we got a little lucky against Alabama. We got, like, lit through. Yeah. Cause we, we, got, we got lucky that Bama beat Georgia in the first place. Yeah, if, we didn't, if that didn't happen, I think we would have lost to Georgia. I am oh, very I glad that Georgia did not win four times in a row. Oh, that would be a cool story for the future. I'm just not a very big Georgia fan, all right. to be honest. Mo- I agree. Moving on. Yeah. Now into the main part, our NFL first-round mock draft. Let's do this traditionally just like they do in the draft. With the first pick in the 2024 NFL Draft, the Chicago Bears select Caleb Williams. I got Caleb Williams, too. I think we all do, right? Yeah, I it's, have... a, it's a no-brainer. I don't think the Bears will be selecting anybody else except Caleb Williams. I think it's got to be Caleb Williams. I agree. Right. Uh, he was a former Heisman winner, you know, if you remember from a year Two ago, it was something I like that. Got, it was soon. It was cool. If he, it was had, if he had some people to support him on his team, he would be an elite team. Oh yeah, elite well team. I do know he wants ownership of the team that he gets signed for. So that is I, a little weird. So Not I wonder weird. if the Bears are going to do that. Especially, I mean, they have two draft picks in the first round, and they're both top, top ten, ten picks. Yep. So, but the mm-hmm. one thing I am worried I about, think, I think that's the Bears' chance to take a wide receiver. I I agree. I I honestly think Marvin Harrison Jr. should be taken. But I don't think they're going to take him. I th- I think they're going to take Caleb Williams. But they really, really should not do that. But um, that's just my opinion. But uh, who do you guys have in the second slot? On my second slot, I got Jaden Daniels, second pick. Heisman winner. He He's a tough player. I think the Commanders needed him, and he will be fitting that slot. So- I agree. The Commanders are just, they, they, they need a lot of improvements. And Jaden Daniels is the perfect fit. Second round, watch it this year. I got Drake May, QB from North Carolina. Watch it. Really? You got Drake May at two? To the Commanders? Yep, right to the Commanders. I promise you, I got $5 on it with Mario here. Well, then, I'll follow that up. My pick number three for the Patriots, I got Drake May, the quarterback out of North Carolina. I got Drake May, too. I don't think that—I think the Patriots, their team is pretty good. They just need a quarterback. 
They have great defense, but their offense is falling apart. They're in scrambles right now. They I, are really bad. I agree. They, and especially because Belichick's gone now, they are in shambles. They really, really need to pick it up because their legacy was so elite. They got to do it. Um, now at number three, I have Jaden Daniels. I switched with you guys, but I don't know. I think it could go either way, but I really do have Drake May. I think he's just that elite. Makes sense. That makes sense for sure. But what do you guys have for... F oh, yeah, you have. You still have pick three, right? Go ahead. Go ahead. You no, I'm on pick four. Oh, you're on pick right. four. <laughs> I, for <laughs> my, my bad, pick my four, bad. Falling all the way down to the fourth pick, I got Marv. I think he should have got picked number one overall, not trading Justin Fields. Justin Fields is elite. He's really good. They just need some, like, weapons on the offense. I know they got DJ Moore, but they need one more. Like, because if they have the best cornerback on DJ Moore, he has no other options. You saw the Hail Mary against the Cardinals. Jake, what is his name? Jake Moody? Yeah. Moody, he had the ball right in his hands. He fumbles it to win the game. No, it wasn't. I Jake no. Moody's the kicker for the 49ers. Yeah, oh, no. I was going to say, he went to Michigan. How did you not know that? What's his name? Derek Mooney. Uh, I, I know. Uh, receiver on the Bears. It doesn't matter. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. matter. We know You know. We know what you're saying. Honestly, I, I also have Marvin Harrison Jr. The thing for me is uh, the Cardinals already said that they're locking Kyler Murray in as their uh, QB1. But I don't think they should do that. I think they should take this opportunity because it's such an offensive draft. They should be getting a quarterback here, but instead they're getting Marvin Harrison, so that's what I think. I also have Marvin Harrison Jr. I think that's unanimous. Um, so, yeah, he just, yeah. Well, as you said, the Cardinals are locking in Kyler Murray. He's a good QB. I think they should take the, the QB, but I do think they are going to take Marvin Harrison. Wait, but if, if Marvin Harrison Jr. gets drafted to the Bears, who would, who do you guys think would be the number one receiver, DJ Moore or Marvinson Harrison Jr.? Probably, I think I got Marvin Harrison. I Marvin still Harrison. got Harrison as the number honestly. one on the number one as yeah. the number one receiver. He did, I think yeah. DJ Moore will be the number one on the first one because he is way he's been in the league for like how much years? Three or four? He has some like nonsense about the league. Marv is just a college player. He doesn't know how the NFL kind of is right now. So, all right, moving on to the fifth pick. Who do you got, Max? Um, I have Brock Bowers, tight end out of Georgia, for out of the Chargers. Personally. I agree with that. I think the Chargers have a really good offense. Just they have some old receivers. They have injury problems. I think Allen, he's old, but he's still good. But what is it called? I forgot the other guy's name that got injured, like, first two weeks of the season. I don't know. Whatever. It doesn't matter. It's fine. Man, if, if you guys could hear Max laughing at me, because now that I'm looking at this pick, I I, I hate myself for this pick. It's, it's, not, it's, not, it's not a bad pick. It's just listen, unusual. Yeah, listen, it's a bad pick. It's a bad pick. <laughs> we can be honest here. I just fell at, out. At fifth for the Chargers, I'm going with Malik Neighbors, the wide receiver out of LSU. Now that I see it, I don't think Why did I say this in the start? Because I don't think they, they have Puka Nakua. They do not need a receiver. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> I understand. They don't have Puka Nakua. Puka That's the Rams. The Rams. They, they have the Mike same, Williams. The same they thing. have Mike Williams and they have um Allen. All right. Oh my God. For I'm my, so dumb. For my <laughs> sixth pick, I have Malik Neighbors. Okay. That's My that's sixth fair, pick fair. to New York. <laughs> <laughs> that, I'm so dumb. I'm All right, because, so dumb. Because I mixed six, up the Josie The colors. Giants are going to lose Saquon. That's their only good player. And now they're going to have Saquon Barkley out. And I've heard the trade rumors that he might be going to, um, what is it called, the Cowboys or the Eagles. So that's pretty bad. Yeah, that's pretty interesting. We'll get back sure. to that later in the podcast. Yeah. But for me, my number six pick for New York. I got Bo Nix. Tommy DeVito's not lasting, and neither is Daniel Jones. That contract did not live up to its name. I don't not know why they put. I do not know why they put so much trust in him. I got them choosing a new QB in Bo Nix, who should be pretty reliable in the NFL. Max pretty much said everything I was gonna say. I also got Bo Nix. All right, for my seventh pick, I think we all. It's a no-brainer. I got Joe Walt. Same. I also got Joe Walt. Same. Joe Walt is. The Titans, what they need. Titans, That's exactly what they need. Titans are a good team. They they got their quarterback fixed. They're not that good, but they got the quarterback fixed, and they their running back is gone. But they have a good second string running back. I saw last season. Yeah, I I agree with that. 
I, I think Joe Alt's going to be a perfect fit for the Titans. I think that's what's going to take them to the next level. For pick number eight, uh, I don't know what you guys have, but I got Jared Verse, the that's edge what, out of Florida State. That's where I put Malik Neighbors. Okay. okay. I put I put Dallas Turner. I got a hot take on Dallas okay. Turner. Seriously. Okay. To the Falcons. In the eighth pick? Yep. I got a hot take. Okay. All right. Now to the ninth pick. Chicago Bears. No brainer. Rome Odunze. Agreed. No I got brainer. I got Cooper DeJean, the cornerback out of Iowa. Oh, come on. That's I, I know it's not I a good the Bears need a receiver. I don't think they they're need a ever receiver. gonna take a corner. Look at look at if you look earlier on my draft board, actually all of ours, Caleb Williams we had, right? That's a quarterback. The perfect fit now would be a target for Caleb Williams, yep. Romo Dunze. So, for me, it's a no-brainer. He also, ha- no, he already has two targets. He already has DJ Moore, and he also has... Darnell Mooney. But, Dar- not, but and they- he also has Marvin Harrison now if what... Oh, my God. Oh, my no. God. Never mind. I, I was thinking of something else. Uh, I thought I, was- I mixed up the Cardinals and the Bears. See, well, now we're even. Now we're even. All right. Now we're even. All right. For my, for my tenth pick, tackle at Oregon State, Tanzel Fuga. I I just think the Jets need a tackle. That's all I gotta say. Okay. I I personally I'm gonna I'm gonna try with this name. I'm gonna the, <laughs> offensive tackle from Penn State. I think the Jets are gonna get uh Olamuyiwa Fashanu. I think that's how I say it. What's about Max? Me personally at number ten, I have Romo Dunze. Okay. Mm-hmm. That's a fair pick. I agree. All right. for pick. At number 11 for the Vikings, I got Taron Arnold, Alabama cornerback. Number 11 from Michigan, I got Mike Sandstrill, cornerback. No way. That's a he's that's, an, that's he's an elite I know it's interesting, but I he's an elite cornerback. Do you see the interception he got against Ohio State to win the I, game? I did. I did. I did. All right, what you got, Brody? Uh, for me I got Dallas Toner, the edge out of Alabama. I agree. Well, not really, but Right. <laughs> and number twelve, Denver Broncos. I have Jared Verse getting Ooh. to the Jared Broncos. All right, number That's twelve from Alabama. I got Kool Aid McKinstry. All right, number twelve. I got JJ McCarthy, quarterback out of Michigan, right. coming fresh off a of natty. I, He's gonna do great. For I the think I think Broncos are gonna stick to Russell Wilson, but Russell Wilson's but leaving. Russell Wilson, oh, Russell, that's, yeah, he's leaving. That's a fit. Yeah, so McCarthy should um, but fit there. Max, what'd you say again? Can you repeat uh, what you said? Kool Aid McKinstry. I don't think he's gonna be that early. Me I neither. I have Kool Aid in the top, the last like twelve picks. I don't have him that high. Watch it. I By think, the way, I think watch he might it. fall. Just, just let me He'll say. He'll be top fifteen. He'll just, be top fifteen. No, he won't. Yes, he will. Just, just let me say. Kool Aid is an awesome first name. I may mean, bet five dollars on that. All right. But Kool Aid is an awesome first name. All right. At my number thirteen pick to the Raiders. I know, but it's still cool. I got the one and only J.J. McCarthy, Michigan quarterback. To the Raiders. Yep. Copying uh, Mario a little bit here, I also have J.J. McCarthy, QB on Michigan. All right, I got Michael Penix Jr. I think, up. I think it's the best pick for the Raiders. The Raiders need a quarterback. If J.J. McCarthy doesn't get drafted by the Broncos, he's going to fall to the Raiders. Yeah, I, I agree with that. Uh, all right. And number pick- 14, the Saints. I have Byron Murphy the second. Okay. That's a little bit of a stretch on my on mine, but... I, I have, personally, Amarius Mims, the offensive tackle out of Georgia. I like that. Okay, me personally, at number 14 for the Saints, I have a tackle out of Washington, Troy Fatanu. Okay. Uh, they do fi- need a better O-line. I, yeah, I see it. For 15, uh, I'm just going to get mine out of the way because it's a stretch. The For the Colts, I got uh, Adonai Mitchell, the mm-hmm. wide receiver out of Texas. I know it's a stretch. Mm-hmm. I had somebody else in there, but I rethought my decision. Um, I have Toledo cornerback Queon Mitchell. I think he's pretty good, actually. I saw his highlights, and they were actually pretty decent. I think he might be heading to the Colts, because the Colts have a pretty good offense. And you saw how Anthony Richardson played the first four weeks before oh, yeah. he injured. I had him on my fantasy team. He was averaging 30 points per game. Oh, he, he was, was going, going crazy. crazy. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he was insane, for what sure. You got, Max? Copying Mario again, I have Quinion Mitchell <laughs> out of Toledo. That's not what you really have, is yes, it? Yes, I do. <laughs> yes, I, I do. Wink, wink. Pick 16 for the Seahawks. I got the defensive tackle out of Texas, Brian Murphy the second. Hall oh, for Seattle, number 16. I got Latu Latu. Number 16 for Seattle, out of Utah, I got Jonah Ellis. All right. 
for number 17, the Jaguars, cornerback Nate Wiggins, okay. Clemson. I, I like that pick, but personally, for the Jags, I think J.C. Latham, the offensive tackle out of Alabama, is a good pick. Okay. Gotta get this out of the way. Number 17, not a very good pick, not even a hot take, just not good. I have Roman Wilson. I just just that, just, just, just skip it. Just that, skip it. That might be the biggest. Yes. Okay. Shh. That's the biggest Shh. stretch in the draft. Shh. We don't That's... talk about it. We don't talk about it. Shh. Shh. All right. For number eighteen, That's Cincinnati insane. Bengals. I got tackle. I'm gonna try saying this the best I can. I'm a Yuma Wea fetch. It's the same guy I had trouble with. All right. Number eighteen for the Bengals. I have tight end from Texas, Jatavion Sanders. For me. I have Quinion Mitchell, the cornerback out of Toledo. Mm -hmm. And then for 19, for the Rams, what do you guys got? I got Cooper DeGene. Okay. I think Cooper DeGene is crazy. I wanted Lions to pick up Cooper DeGene, but I think the Rams are going to take him. I, I do too. And, and honestly, well, I really don't think they're going to take him, but um, on my list, I got, uh, I don't know how to say this. Laitu. 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 No, no, I'm on 19. Why you too latu? Latu. Oh, okay, so right, an yeah. actual just hot take from my part that I actually think could happen. I'm not even going to lie. Uh, I have the Rams taking Michael Penix Jr., and let me explain myself. Mm -hmm. So, you know how Tom Brady went in the sixth round? Uh, I know this is the first round, but whatever. Yeah. He, he was a backup for whoever the New England quarterback was at the time when he first got drafted. And he got put in for a game and, like, just immediately started. I think, I think that could actually happen. For Michael Penix Jr., mm. he's he's very good, and I could see him in a Rams uniform if I'm not gonna lie. I disagree I, with all of that. I know, same. Because you know, my, you saw how tough Matthew Stafford is when he played against the Lions. He was bleeding like everywhere. He still played on him. I think, I think we we broke at least one of his fingers, and he was still playing. Yeah. So I don't think he'll so, he won't get injured like that. But so. The reason that I have, you know, Penix so much higher up on my list is because if you really think about it, when he had, like, when he was injured towards the end of that national championship, he played through that. I know it wasn't much left, but that really, really made it crazy uh, for his draft stock. I think that really went up at that point. But now on to pick 20 for the Steelers. I got Talese Fiagua, however you say that, the offensive tackle out of Oregon State. I got Cool Ed McKinstry, okay. cornerback to the Steelers. As we heard before, the Steelers will be kick, peak, keeping Kenny Pickett and not picking up Justin Fields. Mm -hmm. All right, number 20 for the Steelers. Out of Clemson, I got Nate Wiggins. Kind of copying Mari with the cornerback idea a little bit, but I do think they need a better uh, secondary there, so I do have Nate Wiggins. I see that for sure. Pick 21 for the Dolphins. Uh, I know that you guys picked him up earlier, or at least I know Mario did. <clears throat> but uh, so it might be a little bit of a stretch for me to do him this late. We both late. got number five for that guy. Yeah, it might be stretch for me to do it this late. But for the Dolphins, I got the tight end of the Georgia Brock Bowers. That's that's a really hot take. I think mm -hmm. he's gonna be definitely top five pick. Uh, seriously, I I I, just, I don't, don't see him 10. going top five. Seriously, not even top ten. <clears throat> I right. could see him going top ten, top fifteen. Going to the number twenty first pick. For me, I got Amarius Mims tackled Georgia to the Dolphins. I don't think the Dolphins need anybody on offense right now. Well, that would be 21. Not they are set, which is why Brock Bowers is such a stretch for me. But All right, so for my number 21 for the Dolphins, out of Penn State, I got Ulamawea Fashanua. Great job. <laughs> All right, what you, what you got, Brody? For no, uh, here it is. I already did number mine. number twenty two for, for the Eagles now. Yeah, but for number twenty two, I got Nate Wiggins, cornerback out of Clemson. All right, number twenty two for the Eagles out of LSU, I got Brian Thomas Jr., wide okay. receiver. Okay. I'm going with the cornerback. I, I love that I'm, pick. I'm going with the cornerback idea with Kamari Lechester from from Georgia. Okay. Uh, pick twenty three now, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. All right, for the Texans, Chop Robinson, the edge out of Penn State. <laughs> All right, number twenty. Three for the Texans. Out of Texas, I got a Donnie Mitchell. All right. For me, 23rd pick, I got Jazan Newton. Okay. All right. For number 24 to the Cowboys, I got Jackson Powers Johnson. Okay. He's crazy, and the Cowboys need an offensive line to help Zach Martin out. 
All right, number 24 for the Cowboys, staying in Texas. I got Brian Murphy the second, D.I. <clears throat> for me, I got the offensive tackle out of Washington. Troy is that Troy Fount. Fantanu? Fantanu? I said that right, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you got that. All, All right. right, on number 25, I got J.C. Lantern. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, my God. I like that pick, not going to lie. I, I actually like it, too. To the Packers. All right. I like that pick a lot. Number 25 for the Packers, for me, I got Talese Waga. All right. <laughs> I, I guess. What you got, you. Broads? For pick 25, I got Tyler Guyton, the offensive tackle out of Oklahoma. Okay, I can see that. Mm hmm For my number 26 pick, I got Darius Robinson to the Buccaneers, Edge, Missouri. Okay. For my Buccaneers, well, not my Buccaneers, but the Buccaneers, I got out of Alabama, Terry and Arnold. All right, I got Jackson Powies Johnson, the center out of Oregon. Okay, Ooh. I can see that. Because the Bucks need a center, that's man. That's something. I mean, Bucks need a center, and that's who they should pick. All okay. right, I got for my twenty seventh pick, Cardinals back at it again. I got them with Braylon Trice, Washington Edge. All right, so they, they need some defense. So once again, um, I know this could be a little bit of a stretch for me to. Put him this low on the list, but I got Kool Aid McKinstry, corner out of Alabama to the Cardinals. I agree, that's a little late. Mm -hmm. It is a little late, but I think that's where he's going to fit overall in the draft. I think they need to put pressure on the quarterback. Okay, that's why I so I understand that. Pick. All right, so for the Cardinals again, okay, this is also a hot take for me too, putting this person this late. I have Dallas Turner out of Alabama. Um, Yeah, I just think he would fit in that team. That's, that's really all I got to say about that. Makes sense. All what do right. you got pick 28, Mario? 28, Buffalo Bills. I got Keon Coleman, Florida State wide receiver. Okay. Uh -huh. Buffalo needs a receiver. Stephon Diggs is actually getting kind of cold. I saw him uh, last year. Thank you. Towards the last seven games, he was averaging like 50 yards per game. He was really cold. Like, like he's no still good, but he complains way too much. And nobody has the guts to actually come out and say that. Yeah. So props to you for saying that because I've, I've agreed he, with that the whole he time. He played so good first half of the season. Last yeah. half of the season, he started like, I don't know what happened to him. He just like. Yeah, I agree. And on, honestly, for me, I, I think they're going to need a wide receiver. So I got Brian Thomas Jr., wide receiver out of LSU. Uh, following the wide receiver route, for number 28 for the Bills, out of Oregon, I got Troy Franklin. Okay, I like that pick. For my 29, the Detroit Lions, well, my hometown. Home Detroit Lions. Uh, we had to take a quarterback. I got Ennis Rakestraw Jr., Missouri. Good pick. It's following Mario again, number 29 for the Lions, cornerback out of Missouri, I got Ennis Rakestraw Jr. You know what? I had a pick earlier. I'm going to flip this. I'm going to go Ennis Rakestraw Jr. as well for the Lions. I had Terry and Arnold, but I kind of like Ennis Rakestraw, so I'm going with that. All, All right. right. For Unanimous. The, for the Ravens, number 30th pick. I think the Ravens have a set defense, so I'm going to go wide receiver Adani Ooh. Mitchell, Texas. Okay. I got, I got Darius Robinson, the defensive lineman out of Missouri. All right. Number 30 for the Ravens. I got out of Oregon. Jackson Powers Johnson. I know, I know. Really late, but at least he's in there, and Not I think he would late. fit. And I think he would I fit. I saw that late. It's only six picks later than mine was. Yeah. I like it. I like it. Off uh, of pick 31, uh, is this Cooper Dijon? Is that how you say it? Or Dijon? It's, it, it's Dijon. Dijon? Okay. So the, for the 49ers, I got Cooper Dijon, the defensive I, back out of Iowa. I disagree with that because if Cooper Dijon fell to the 29th pick for the Lions, Lines would definitely take Cooper DeJean. But I think Cooper DeJean's going to get picked up in, like, the 20th pick by the Steelers. Yeah, I had him at number nine. That's really early, but, like... That's super early, in yeah, my but opinion. I but that's still, a huge reach, in I my opinion. I have 19th pick. I still got him in top 20, at least. Yeah, I see it. I see it. So, uh, but for the last pick... No, no, I, I still got to do that. Oh, my bad, my bad. Right, keep going. Number keep going. 31 for the San Francisco 49ers out of Georgia. I still have to do I got Kamari Lasseter, cornerback. Out of All right. For me, I got the for the 49ers, 31st pick. I got Troy Fantanu, tackle, Washington. Okay. I act, I don't disagree with that pick either. I like it. All right. And then the last pick, the for Super Bowl champs. I like to call this the Mr. Irrelevant of the first round. Uh, I think he had the best combine in the whole thing. One of them. 
I got Xavier Worthy going to the Chiefs. All right, Roby. I think that's a hot take, not going to lie, because just because he had a fast time at the Combine doesn't mean anything. I mean, that doesn't mean my words. That's the next tie we kill. Okay, listen, I got to say, that definitely raised his draft stock. I don't know if I agree with the next Tyree kill, but I don't know. Anything could happen. All right. Number 32 for the Kansas City Chiefs out of Florida State, I got Jared Verse. Number 32. I can't believe you don't take a wide receiver here. The 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 Chiefs need a receiver. The, Travis Kelsey can't be the only option they have on offense. And R- Rishi Rice. I they, they need an extra wide receiver to back up him because – Canarius Tony is really the only person that can stop the Chiefs. You know what? I got Troy Franklin. Okay. Oregon wide receiver. Okay. You know what? I understand that. I probably should have picked up. I I, I should have picked a a receiver. But I'm not going to lie. I think I used all my receivers already. That could be going first round. You know? Yeah. I I don't (laughs) mind any of those picks. I think we all agree that wide receiver is going to be pretty good. All right. We're done with our draft there. Now let's talk about some other news. All right, and at, and lastly, to end it off, we'll do some brief sports news. How about LeBron hitting, like, 40K points? That's pretty cool, but I still think MJ could be the Thank goal. you. Look, listen, I know everybody that wants to debate about this right now, great job to LeBron. That's freaking awesome. I but think- in the same regard, if we're talking about goats here, you got to give it to MJ. I it's- I. And I know he had like the best players in his era. It was crazy. I agree. And honestly, the defense was so much different in MJ's era. I, I give a bunch of props to LeBron. That's amazing accomplishment. It's really cool. I but think, I just don't think he touches MJ. I think, still. I think LeBron might stay another year in the NBA to play with Bronny. If Bronny can make it there. I think he will. I think, you think he will? LeBron James will will make him get Bronny. Uh, yeah. Personally, this is what I gotta say about that. I agree, MJ is my goat. I, I'm gonna get that out of the way first. Mm-hmm. But I gotta say, I think LeBron, maybe not on defense, but overall, LeBron is playing in a better era of players. That's all I'm gonna say. Le- okay, so, I disagree with okay, that okay, so no, much. No, no, no. no let go me keep going. Go 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 so MJ has has some of the greatest of all time, but let's focus into like. Eight or ten players. How about LeBron we... has consistently really good players all around, spread out across like every team. Like MJ didn't. Yeah, but do they have? Do they have like, like... MJ didn't exactly? Wait, like do they have? Do they have like Kareem Abdul-Jabbar hype yeah, people in yeah, the paint? Exactly. I'm just yeah. telling my goat. I said that earlier. I know, but, but like, like still. Jokic is nowhere near how good Hakeem Abdul-Jabbar is. R- Kareem and yeah, Abdul-Jabbar. Kareem, yeah. And what is it called? Giannis is like. Not as good as him, but I think that would be a good match. Gian- Giannis is up there, don't get me wrong. Yeah. LeBron plays in a great era of players, but in my opinion, he just doesn't touch the era in MJ's. I feel like if LeBron were to play in MJ's era, he would not pass uh, MJ's points and scoring and stuff. I don't think it would be possible. And all over TikTok, I see that people are talking about Michael Jordan only having a right hand. You got, like... Well, that means he scored 32,000 points with just his right hand. Exactly. Like, it's like, are you serious? If you're going to make that more of a compliment than a yeah. insult, if anything. Exactly. And I've seen, I've seen that um, LeBron James had more points than Michael Jordan without three-pointers. Yeah, that's crazy. So. That's that's all I got to say about that, honestly. Right. That that settles it for me. Let's get and, some, uh, some NFL offseason contracts. Yes, that'll put the cherry on top for sure. How do you guys think about Gra- Brandon Graham resigns with the Eagles? I, I don't really have a big opinion on it, but I think he's pretty cool. I don't really have a big opinion, but he's, I mean, he's, he's pretty not cool. that good, but let's talk about the Browns trade for Jerry Judy. Mm-hmm. Fifth round and sixth round picks. That now that one actually that, did come out as a big shock. To that me. might that might do something for the Browns next year because yeah. Nick Chubb. Little little do you know the uh, what is it called? Browns did something this year. They actually did they win the AFC? Uh, thing. No, I don't know if they won the division. I think they came like third seed or something like that. Yeah, but they definitely had a big old comeback with Joe Flacco. Yeah, George Flacco. Joe. He went crazy. I think that um, the Browns will be crazy next year with Nick Chubb and Jerry Judy. I agree. Perfect, perfect fit for the I'm team. also curious to see what Deshaun Watson looks like with them. Or maybe you'll just keep getting his massages. I don't even know. Yeah. <laughs> now, now, hear me out. 
the Chargers, and let's make this very clear, have not done anything yet, but they are rumored to put Khalil Mack and Joey Bosa on the trade block. Uh, that might happen because Khalil Mack and Joey Bosa are really old. They are old. So, they're like, they, they're like the grandfathers. They are myself. still good, but they're exactly. still really good. I, I can see it happening, but I also can't at the same time, if that makes how, sense. And how about this announcement? Uh, let me introduce this one. Yeah, let me I mentioned it. it. He mentioned. They, Brody almost missed this when writing the script. Saquon Barkley is leaving the Giants and is probably going to sign with the Eagles. Now but, listen. Oh my God. As a Lions fan, he's either doing the Eagles or the Cowboys, but he's really thinking the Eagles is his number one. This scares me because I am a Lions fan. All three of us are Lions fans, okay? This, this is terrifying. Me. This actually, when I when I heard that he was possibly signing with the Eagles and Cowboys, it sends shivers down my spine. Listen, I'm happy for him leaving that terrible team. Yeah, I like Saquon Barkley. He deserves it. But it, either way, like Cowboys or Eagles, that's terrifying. And I was searching up. I was searching up about that the other day. I saw that the Texans might do a double trade with that. I think it could. They said that um, if Saquon gets traded to the Cowboys, they will be taking Tony Pollard to the Texans. I see it. I see it for sure. I I just I'm 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 struck by this as a Lions fan, but as an NFL fan, this is pretty crazy. But uh, you know what? Regardless, keep in touch with the NFL. Keep in mind Wait. that the off season starts. On March 13th, 2024. I have something else to say. just a couple of days. Go ahead, go ahead. We did talk about... Remember when Christian McCaffrey got traded to the 49ers? I remember that. We did yeah. say that that was going to be crazy and they were going to be an unfair team. But the Lions did keep up a fight with a 17-point lead at halftime. But we blew it. Two fumbles, an interception, okay. drop passes. Yeah, that's painful that to listen us. to. The that Lions could have won to. the Super Bowl. Why is that? A chance. Why is that painful to listen to as a Lions fan, but also like rewarding as a Lions fan? That feels great and terrible at the Keeping same time. Keeping up with that team is amazing. The 49ers Losing after that big old deficit. That's, that's the sad. 49ers had a favor by like ten points, and we we did something. I know we it, showed them. But we did, and we we didn't come through with it, but that's it, all right. We, we showed it more it's, than it's, people expected. It's it's football for that's you. The no best one season, that's that. the best season Lions had in like. 20 years? No, t- 20. It's his- it's make history. it 30. 30 it's yeah, it's history. Like they have never had a 12-5 and five season in the Super Bowl era. Yep. But, like I said, keep in touch with the NFL. Offseason starts on March 13th, 2024. And real fast, before we leave, thanks so much to Mario for joining us on the podcast. Yep. Hey, see y'all again. Once again, thank you guys so much for listening to another episode of the Bros and Bros podcast. If you're interested in our podcast, spread it around your family, friends, whoever else is around. Whatever it may be, catch you in the next episode of the Bros and Bros podcast. Yeah!